guys what's up here Campbell today back with another video and today guys we're going to be doing a pvp tips video for minecraft of course so to start off we are going to do number one all right so what i've got here is increased accuracy and i think this is super important and people criticize like click speed and they go oh it's not important you need your accuracy well your click speed matters but your accuracy is really important too I would recommend um, Hypixel Duels or a server that actually gives you a percentage of what your what your um, basically your your accuracy percentage is and how many times you actually hit them versus how many times you hit the air, for example. So if you're butterfly clicking and you're getting like 20% accuracy, don't be butterfly clicking. If you're butterfly clicking and you're getting 70% accuracy keep butterfly clicking so yeah basically that's what i'm saying is you want to get uh high accuracy so if you're clicking and you are getting super low percentage you're doing really fast click speeds lower your speeds okay you gotta lower them and then make your accuracy better all right and to go with that with the accuracy which i know this is all the time all the time people don't understand how often this is don't use a trackpad for pvp and i go this with accuracy because it actually develops in with accuracy don't please don't if you don't know what trackpad is it's it's the laptop pad that you like control the mouse with don't do it use a mouse every day use a mouse don't use a trackpad it's stupid you will thank me so much you will hit that subscribe button you will smash the subscribe button and hit the like button if you just stopped using a trackpad and started a mouse because of this video seriously guys do not use a trackpad for pvp it will make your accuracy absolutely horrible use a mouse i did it in the past i regret that completely and i probably would be even much better today if i would have had the experience of using a mouse throughout my whole minecraft career all right now moving into number two increase your click speed now you're gonna be like well yeah you're, you're just countering what you said the first time no not really if you're running really good accuracy and you're just not getting very fast clicks in, then you need to click faster. For me personally, this is one of the things that I did that was I feel like that I was doing wrong. I would click really low CPS. Like I never got fast CPS. I can click now like 15 butterfly and other people can do like 10 just normal clicking. I can't jitter either you know i don't really recommend jitter clicking because it's like a lot of people have really bad accuracy jitter clicking and you get a butterfly faster and jitter click at least in my opinion most people can now to go with that like if you're having horrible accuracy don't think increasing your click speed is the right you know solution you want to increase your click speed when your click speed is awful you know if you can barely get a hit in then you need to raise your click speed if you are hitting them in the process if you are hitting somebody in the right direction and you're just not hitting them because you're at the they're like causing too much knockback to you and you can never hit somebody try increasing your click speed because then you're going to actually develop more clicks and cause more knockback on that person while their click speed is way faster than yours so be careful with click speed because if you get too fast and it decreases your accuracy just be smart okay now number three is use your resources this is super smart i see it all the time people fail to do it if you got blocks bed wars there's all strats um you want to use them properly if you have a fishing rod use it if you have a snowball you can actually stop somebody's sprint and then get a combo combos are really important and using your resources you can collectively gain a good combo or you know strategies together they just mix and they combine and that's how you win you know fishing rods super important really big for hunger games not as big as for say bed wars where blocks and you know fireballs and stuff like that matters but basically just use what you can don't not i mean don't when you have this stuff it's there to be used and then the people that are the best will for example uh, somebody who's a really good bed wars they will use like a 
fireball and a TNT and then a bunch of blocks. They'll like build up really high and then they'll TNT jump and then they'll even have a ladder and then they'll clutch with the ladder and then they'll eat a golden apple and then they'll fireball your bed, break your bed and then kill you. And then they also have those two health and then they didn't take damage. In the meantime, you can't really prevent it because they TNT'd themselves in there but then they gained their health back but then they didn't lose health. You see, it all adds up. And the and use your resources. Seriously, guys. It's really important. Trust me. And if you want to learn more about the resources to a specific game, I'd recommend, you know, watching YouTube videos over it. And uh, whoever uploads about that specific game. Now, number four. Develop your correct flow and momentum. Basically, what I see all the time people do is they don't have the right flow. Or they challenge themselves too much where they fall all the time. If you're falling all the time, especially in bed wars, like let's say five times a game, you don't have the right flow. You're, you're overdoing yourself. You're trying to make these really good jumps. You're trying to, you know, like four block jumps all the time. You're trying to make them good ones. Don't do it. You're not that great yet. You need to develop your skills and then go to that, that next level. And along with that, make sure and like flow is really important and, and Bed Wars per se. I'm using Bed Wars as an example because 16,000 people on it on Hypixel right now. Like seriously. Okay, good example. But, uh, you know, you want to develop your flows. You want to get your sprint key. Sprint key is super important with this. If you double W, basically uh, how sprint works in Minecraft is you can either double your W, double your W. But anyways, you can hit it twice and it gives you sprint. Or you can hit your sprint key. Your sprint key normally is left control, but I would not recommend that at all. I would recommend R, but some people use E, and you know what? It's a personal choice. Uh, whatever's better for you, you use that. Don't use what somebody else says just because you think it'll be better. Use what's best for you. And also, with your correct flow and stuff, use your POV. Your POV, when it's at normal, is awful. Upgrade that. You're, it's in your uh, if you click your minecraft and you go escape hit your escape key left top of keyboard options then click video settings wait nope not video settings <laughs> it'll be right there top left once you click options it'll see fov not pov i was saying pov but that's wrong fov and what it is normally it is awful it's like i don't even know what the normal is but it goes all the way up to a hundred and 110 without like a specific client and such i play at about 99 i would recommend playing at anywhere between 90 and quake pro if you can do good with quake pro play with quake pro and that's 110 of course and there's also clients that allow you to go past quake pro which i don't know about that too well but you know if you can use your fov correctly raise it okay don't keep it lower. I would recommend maybe slowly upgrading it. It really helps out, I feel like it. At least me personally. And then number five. Number five is upgrade your hardware. Now, this one is either overrated or underrated. Every single person has something they can upgrade, usually. On, on like, generalization. You know, big YouTubers and stuff. They've got, like, the best equipment. And people that are really good have the best equipment. But... Like, me personally, I have a really good mouse, and I just upgraded it, and it's amazing. I love the mouse. It's a glorious Model O. I've actually got a first reaction video on that, so if you want to go check that out, it's pretty cool. Make sure and hit the like button and subscribe on that video, too. But, uh, otherwise speaking, you know, people don't upgrade their hardware enough. I feel like a lot of people, at least w with me, and the people that I surround myself with, my friends and such that I play with, all the time, they, they're running hardware that's not the best and it's sometimes due to money factors but uh people that have money you know and you're playing awful with awful hardware spend the money invest you know investing into your hardware if you're gonna spend more than an hour a day and you're using a trackpad on a laptop buy a mouse seriously do that it'll make your life so much better to go with that you know if you've got a really bad computer and you're running even 60 fps fps you know if you get 120 fps it's going to make a difference you know it's really awesome to have those high fps you don't need to do it overkill 
but if you're running really low on a laptop maybe it's time to upgrade i mean that's just how it is if you have awful fps just try to upgrade you know don't and i understand some people can't upgrade due to money reasons but if you have extra money and you're playing your skills are good you know you've got good accuracy click speed strategy but your equipment is just not the best then upgrade your equipment and this can be from everything from keyboards to mouses to your actual like computer hardware and with that i would recommend a desktop and not a laptop but that is just a personal choice considering i mean gaming computers are better desktops but you can do them in a laptop but i would recommend a desktop so if you're looking at a gaming go desktop please you don't really need a laptop majority of people unless you're into business and stuff but uh i know this video has been kind of a rant and i've went on and on so if you want to you know see more videos like this make sure and hit that like button subscribe i've said that several times but, but yeah make sure and do it you know so uh that'll be all guys and see you dudes next time peace out